Due to changes in acceptance, laws and structure of society, there has been an increased diversity in family types. Where there was originally one predominant structure, there is now a vast array of different families characterised by various compositions of gender, children and relation. This has led to many further changes in gender roles, the roles of children and everyone's place in various aspects of society. It's a traditional family model. It came about as a result of presumed gender roles enforced by society of a father who is the breadwinner of the family and a dominant authority figure, and a stay-at-home mother whose job it is to raise and socialise the children. As a result of the empowerment of the women, leading to their place in society as a dominant and capable figure, and the acceptance of other types of relationships, there has been a decline in stereotypical gender roles played by men and women, which has meant that this traditional model of the family is becoming less common. Progression of society and acceptance of same-sex couples has meant that there has been an increase in the number of same-sex parenting couples. The realisation that children won't be negatively impacted by having two mothers or two fathers, and that they won't be missing out on a crucial part of childhood and socialisation, has reduced the negative image of this family. That men don't have to play a masculine disciplinary, disciplinary role in a child's life, and women don't necessarily have to be responsible for nurturing and socialising the child, has meant that people are more accepting of the fact that same-sex couples can raise a child just as easily as anyone else. This is an increasingly common family type. It involves one parent, male or female, raising children predominantly by themselves. One notion that has influenced this family model is the 1975 Marriage Act that allowed a greater ease of divorce the realisation that women don't need a man has resulted in a greater proportion of single parent families. The acceptance that men don't necessarily need to just earn the money for the household but they can play a caring and nurturing role has similarly meant that neither parent feels dependent on the other for proper care of their children. There have been many factors that contribute to couples being child free. Fertility issues are an example of reasoning that is beyond the control of the couple and IVF treatments aren't always accessible financially. The rising cost of living is also affecting the decision of couples on whether or not to breed, and many people are also actively choosing not to have children because of environmental reasons. Some people don't want to subject their children to the effects of global warming. There are also some couples that just don't want to have children, and this is becoming more and more socially acceptable as we move away from the presumed family model and a society where it's, women are expected to marry to procreate, and men are, accept, are expected to find an acceptable wife with whom to breed. As you can see, there are many different types of families and there are many factors that are contributing to these diverse structures of family. The common one shown is the changing expectations of men and women in society. Men are no longer expected to be masculine, dominant, breadwinning figures in the family and women are no longer expected to care and nurture a child as their purpose in a marriage. And there is not the expectation that a marriage is reason enough to have children. There are now many combinations of men, women and children that are all seen to be successful models of families.